Hey guys, welcome back to the course. In this video, we'll be looking at shell scripting within Termox. Writing scripts is a very important skill that will allow you to automate tasks and become more efficient with the terminal. A shell script is basically a file containing a series of commands that are executed in sequence. It helps you automate repetitive tasks by running multiple commands at once. Yes, how you get started writing a basic shell script on Termax. Open Termax and navigate to the home directory. Now create a new script file using the touch command. Open the file with nano or any text editor of your choice. Inside the file, write the following code. Start with the shebang. Then ask your user for their name and then read the user input into a variable called name and finally greet them using their name Once you're done, save and close by holding Ctrl and pressing X, then Y, then Enter. Before running the script, you have to give it permission to execute with the command chmod plus X my script. Now to run the script, you use the command dot forward slash my script. You should see the text printed on the screen with a prompt to enter a name. You can go as simple as the script I just showed you or more complicated one like the guessing game I made here. I have a text document which outlines the syntax of bash with code examples provided in the video description. Please download that and play around with the examples. But here's a basic breakdown of the bash syntax. Bash follows a simple and consistent syntax. Here's a quick overview of some key elements. Variables in Bash are used to store values. You don't need to declare a type, just assign values like this. You can control the flow of your script using conditional statements like if. For example, like this. The if statement here checks the condition and depending on the result, which is true or false, it runs one block of code or another. For recursion, you can use loops that allow you to repeat commands. Here's a simple for loop for an example. This will print numbers from 1 to 5, incrementing the value with each iteration. You can also write reusable blocks of code using functions. For example, here's a simple grid function. Here, one refers to the first argument passed to the function. And finally, you can add comments to your script to explain certain sections of your code. Comments begin with a hashtag and they are ignored when the script runs. Understanding these basics will allow you to write more complex and useful scripts. Please like the video, subscribe and hit the bell. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next lesson.